Let's see. Based on their line of sight, I think I could just jump down on the way down, thankfully. And this is a noise radius problem. Let's see. Where can I... Come on. You have to highlight over here for some reason to jump down over here. Can't highlight here, no, but highlight over here and bam, you're set. I have no... I have no... I have, I have no idea why it works that way. Alright, so we're done with this whole chunk of the map now, basically. So there's two over here I can take down if I want to be an overachiever, or the one uh, kind of mandatory one over here. Where is he? That guy. So he can't be distracted. And he's out in the open, surrounded by guards, so it kind of is a, it's kind of a problem unless you want to actually kill all of them. Which I might have to in that case. Or create a brief distraction. This one also goes into like a group camp, although they seem to be unconscious, so if you... Oh, uh, there's one dare too. And a civilian. So you definitely want to deal... You definitely want him to patrol before you deal with him, because in the middle of this camp there's just too many witnesses. Are they done yet? This guy's more out in the open. Does this guy ever turn around? I just want to see if he genuinely ever looks down slope at the other people here, or if he just looks around up top. So right here, he's not really looking anywhere. Watching... He doesn't seem to look down here. That officer would would not be immediately discovered by him. And this guy's resting. Uh, so he doesn't look around at all. Uh, on the other side of this river. He's only looking over here. So once we cross the river, he's not a problem. It's more of those guys that I need to worry about. And there's a guy over here. He'd be easy to take out. Just go stab him and drag him to the bush. This guy's a problem. He's probably my first priority because he comes right up to the slope. But because he comes right up to the slope, I can probably take him out by just swimming up to him and grabbing him. That's an assumption because we've never used swimming yet, so I don't know what to expect of it of it and its mechanics. First priority is get past these peasants without getting spotted. Is it a puzzle? Move. Which shouldn't be too this shouldn't be too hard because they're they're constantly uh they're constantly working. So, and the line of sight generally seems to be garbage. Yeah, they have a really bad line of sight because they're not looking for anything. So I think they're kind of looking down-ish. So on, on, it's only immediately in front of them that they can see past anything. I assume swimming counts as crouching as far as the dark zone works. So if I stay behind the rock, they probably won't spot me. This guy looking around much? He's got the crappy line of sight as expected. So really just gotta watch out for this guy. No use waiting. So many she tricks. Must be hiding right. here somewhere. Let's she save real quick. She's okay. Slowly. Just get in that bush. Just get in that bush. Is that a bush? Does it count as a bush in this case? Oh yeah. Swimming seems pretty stealthy in this game. What are you looking at? Oh cool. She even breathes underwater with a tube, and I don't- I, I'd be surprised if they can even see that. Always ready. So let's just focus on getting them both across the river then. No noise. Let's see. Move like water. Nope, watch out. Oh no! Crap, 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 crap. You Come out. I did that wrong. Quiet. Let's just be safe about it like I should have been in the first place by plopping our a a rock Go toss again. over there. That'll buy me time. No noise. There we go. It's a deep river, by the way. They just plunge into that thing. Okay. So is your line of sight crap? Well, you will see them if- you will see a standing person go down, unfortunately. So I need to specifically look for him to not be looking this way. Uh, maybe if I just work quick. Let's just give it a shot. I already- that's the power of the quick save. Ah, shit. St slow down. I never oh, sure miss. again. Oh, can I have one? Definitely not. Why not? <laughs> I freaked out because he was going too fast. I'm like, no, don't run away. I'm trying to... Yeah. I thought he was going to stop for a moment. <laughs> okay, well, we got that. That's good. Yeah. What now? So who almost saw us? Oh, probably was that guy. We just need to watch out for this person. Maybe we can get these two over here. Hey. Oh. Just need to get both of them off across the river so we can just ride off the entire other half of the map for a while. Or forever, I guess. Okay. Do you ever look at this guy? You do not. 
So we can take him out and it's not a problem. Does this guy ever look at him? It's probably just this guy that looks down the entire channel. If only we had the samurai, he could just wander over there and take out both of them simultaneously. Because they, I think they walk up to each other, don't they? No, he doesn't. He doesn't look that far down here either. Eh, yeah, like that's that's what happens. Is he, he briefly turns around like that. When he's rotating all the way around, he, he briefly sees around the corner. You're quick as that knife. Thank you, Sensei. I told you, don't call me that. I like the crouch walk. That's really handy. Oh yeah, you can see him sink under the ground. He saw his legs sinking into the earth, so he they do despawn everybody when it goes into the bush. Probably to save on resources, but there's also no reason the bodies should matter. I guess if the uh, if the guards searched the bushes looking for you and they found bodies, that would freak them out. But I guess at that point they're already freaked out, so that wouldn't really be a meaningful gameplay distinction. So this guy walks around... He walks around the carts, right? Or does he stop on the... He does break line of sight. He goes around the corner. So he could be taken out out of line of sight where nobody could spot him. Skill over numbers. Okay. Let's plan on that then. Stay crouched. No, don't see away. Oh, you can't go through here? Apparently not. Move like I, I thought he could go through here. Well, while they're talking, I can be. I can have some fun. Time for salt work. <sighs> Stabby stabby! Let's get you around the corner. There we go. Now it's just these two officers here. Can that, can people see you there? They can't see you. He can't see you around the corner, right? Oh, uh, but this guy looks down. Oh, he would see everything, probably. Maybe not. I should give it a shot. I'm just curious if I throw a shuriken at him, if he will just die and then no one will notice because he's around the corner. I don't know if anyone can spot that specific location, especially for a crouched body. Let's make some noise. All right, where does he stop exactly? I'm going in. All right, let's learn. How does this work out for me? Four down. Do you notice the body? What now? Now we have to signal Mugen at the statue. H who's Mugen? Wait wow. And see. Yeah, no one notices. I'm gonna. I'll avoid quick saving just in case. No noise. Just try to get the body back before anyone notices. Ah! <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> Don't make me jump. All right. Yeah, that's that's four down. I'll go for four more. Why not? So his line of sight goes over there a bit, but not that far. I'm going in. I should be able to just sneak by without it being a problem. Oh, he's looking straight at me. Crap! I didn't think about the fact that his line of sight changes when he's look when once he starts spotting you. My bad. I was thinking about it the way that the uh, the more distant line of sight stuff works, where you can kind of skim through it real quick and it doesn't fill up in time, so you're you're fine. That was a mistake. Hello. How are you doing today, sir? I have the body of your friend, man. Don't mind me, just going to hut. Cutting wind. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I didn't think about that at all. Ah, oh, damn it! Needs more. Well, I never miss. Well, let's just go ahead and accept that that happened. So I want to kill that guy. But he, I, he tends to look over here. And so I distract him for just a moment. And grab that. Pew! Then we're pretty much set. Get you out of line of sight before somebody spots you. There we go. And we're pretty much in the clear. Alright, so that's five flags down. More flags, more fun! Five flags, dead flags. More dead. No noise. More flags, more corpse. Corpse flags. Let's see. Can you go through that at all? The forest looks like it's a, a wall as far as the map goes. So I think more I can write off this whole chunk of the map. And now it just comes down to Quiet. dealing with this open ass clearing with uh, five people in it. So she didn't do anything for this whole chunk. 
but I didn't really need her this time. The projectiles were, ha were what helped in this situation. So, one thing I can do is I could lure people towards me while having uh, queued it up melee assassinations prompted. And then as they come towards me, I could assassinate both of them simultaneously in the cases of patrols like this. Do these guys ever walk around or are they just hanging out? Because their line of sight's garbage and they seem to just talk forever. If they do just hang out and talk forever, then I don't have to worry about them catching me. This guy, look, line of sight doesn't go very far in this direction, I mean. This guy can't see far because everything's blocking him for crouch, so it's just... So if I just watch the, uh, officer, I can start sneaking up. Alright. Let's plan for that, then. I'm gonna send them both to the bush up here, once he turns around a little bit. No use waiting. Yeah, there's, there's actually not too many variables going on here. No one's really changing up their act or wandering around at all. The problem is this guy has standing line of sight, so if the officer goes down, he's gonna uh, they're gonna notice. So like he's looking, yeah, he clearly sees the guard. He sees everyone basically. So if anyone goes down this entire group, they'll notice. Oh, I think that's my in. Okay. When the officer talks to him, he loses line of sight of the uh, guard over here, so I could snatch him real quick. And they wouldn't immediately notice. I'll have to try to time my quick save where he's on his way there. Just so I can plan for that. There we go. We want to go with the faster kill if I can. Now he's talking to the relic. I think this will work. I think he actually does lose line of sight. But we'll see. Start talking. Time for salt work. Pick him up fast. <laughs> that was alarming. That was really close. <laughs> All right. He is gone too long. Is he curious about that? Oh, this could get me in trouble, couldn't it? Is he just wandering around, though? Okay, so this time when they start talking, I think I want to wander over to this bush. Can this guy see the... These guys don't see crap. You cannot fool me. Are they... Is he going to check the bush? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, now we know. That's the thing that I have to worry about. Well, crap. I was hoping that he would go talk to the officer again. Uh, the officer would go talk to the other guy again, because if, if he, the cone got restricted again, I was going to sneak up here, and then I was going to queue up an ability where they both assassinate both of them while they're talking, and then uh, have that launch where just both of them go down. But now we have a new problem. Oh, I, acci I accidentally hit spacebar. <laughs> I accidentally hit spacebar, which led to that. Okay. Let's make some noise. His line of sight's garbage. He left his post. I had to cause a distraction here. Okay. So here's the idea. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna have the blue guy try to sneak up towards here and distract this guy with a rock while we kill the other guy. Hopefully. Because uh, we can't distract this guy, really. And so the yellow's gonna kill this guy while this guy's hopefully distracted. And I might even go up and kill him, too, once he's while, it, while that's happening. But we need to act fast. There's a small range over here by the trees where it looks like I can crouch walk without getting caught. Quiet. Yep. Move like water. Blades ready. Ow. Ah, uh, crap. I was so close. I just need like another moment before getting spotted. I just need like another moment before he spots me. Okay. Does it, did his behavior change? I feel like it took longer to spot us last time. Oh wait, I can just send you away. I can just send them away and then we're fine. Then he'll investigate this bush. But it won't- yeah, he'll investigate this bush and it won't matter because no one will be here to get spotted. And then this guy will be gone so he can't spot us anymore. No noise. Genjutsu. Careful. Shit. Bad plan, then. Bad plan. This is fun, though. There's so many ways for it to go wrong. Okay. 
So maybe I do go with my previous plan where we both go up in that bush. And I t yeah. Then I can simultaneously take both of them out, like I was thinking of before. I think that's probably the better plan. Always ready. So the moment he looks the moment he starts looking away, we both sneak out immediately. He's gone too this might be a little hard to juggle with two characters. I'll probably screw it up a little bit. Go away. Go what? His behavior keeps changing. No. <laughs> no, I was relying on you doing the same thing again. Crap. Now he's getting orange, and now he's gonna spot us, isn't he? The little bastard. That's totally what happens next, right? My blade is sharp. No noise. Quiet. Ah, nobody here. Oh. Boring. That time we didn't even check the bush. Oh. So the behavior is all over the place. Well, now I know. Now I know that different things can happen, like every time. Crap! Damn it. That's what I get for double clicking. Okay. The sheer variety of ways I've screwed up is what's fascinating to me right now. <laughs> Always it ready. can happen so many different ways in each attempt. I'm waiting. Alright, well, dealing with this. A distraction. Dealing with this guy's getting annoying, so I'm just gonna try to distract him and see if it works long enough. Nope. Nope. That doesn't work either. I just, I just need him to do the most baby, just, just do the exact thing I want he you to do, please. <laughs> just, just walk past the bush, you did it so many times in a row, and I just want you to do it again now that I have a plan. Ah! What's up with your behavior, why does it keep changing? <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop it! Do the same thing twice in a row. Alright. Well, maybe he'll just wander off again, and then that makes this easy too, I guess. Unless he's gonna now check the bush. No? No use waiting. No noise. Oh, I'm ready to move like water. Right. Shh. Always ready. Oh, nothing. So Shh. Quiet. Well Let's that works. Work. I finally got what I wanted, I guess. <laughs> sure. And now we queue up what a, what should be a double murder, I think. No, I hit F8 instead of F5. Why did I do that? <laughs> Crap. Okay, this time, I actually hit F5 instead of F8 and saved my progress, like you're supposed to. Alright, so left shift. No, shift. Okay. Shift. A. Two. Shift. A. Enter. Go, 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 go! Yeah, oh. Ow, that That's like a hair away from working perfectly, isn't it? <laughs> That's frustrating. Okay. So the timing's slightly off, or the angle's slightly off, so they notice you at the last second. Alright. Oh, what if I do the, the flute, though? That's... Ah, I hit space on accident. Just gonna undo that real quick. All right, that's the, that's what I need to do then. Uh, can you queue up a move, but then also do an actual move and then use the queue move, queue move afterwards? Let's find out. Shift A. I can do that. Let's get to work. Shift A. No noise. Here. And then flute. We'll see if that works out. Yeah. I like this plan. Science. What was that? We should end that. Ah, right. He sends people forward. What? I see. Uh. No use waiting. Shit. Ah, shit. 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 All right. No. Fuck it. Damn it. So and my response to that was, oh, I'll throw a shuriken at the guy in the back to take him down abruptly and then stab the guy in front of me. But I'm not fast enough. <laughs> I'm just not fast enough with the keyboard input to do that on the moment notice. And then I, I actually, for a moment there, I reflexive, just out of reflex because of how, how many, uh, how many RPGs I've been playing lately, I hit spacebar to pause the game so I could issue those commands. But that doesn't work in this game. <laughs> but I tried anyway. So instead I just stood up like a jackass. 
About half the times I stand up like a jackass is because I'm reflexively trying to pause the game so I can issue commands because so many games I play that look like this work that way. Ah, uh, that would have fixed it too, because then I could have just thrown a shuriken at one of them and the other and the guy in front of us wouldn't have noticed it because he was already towards us. Okay. So then, instead, the best way to handle this, then, is probably to wait for the officer to go inspect this direction. Because he looks over here for a little while, and while that's happening, we can, uh, lure this guy over and take him out. At which point I could just hit that guy with a shuriken, because he'd be on his own, and that won't matter anymore. Bird's voice. Just gotta wait for him to go away. Slowly. Who's making noise? Oh, this might, this might take way too long, though, unfortunately. So we'll have to see. Stick and stab. Nice. Yep, the answer is the answer is it took way too long. Yep. 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 A right, new plan. Let's take Hayato back to the first bush. Quiet. Since this plan's not working. No noise. This guy's restricted line of sight for a moment, so I can try to sneak o Ah, it's not long enough. Quiet. Damn it. My plan at that point was if I put Hayato here, he can stab one of them while the other one's luring the other one over. And that that would keep them distracted. Man. Alright. How about this idea then? Uh shift D Lure. I'm ready. That would lure him over. But I could throw a shuriken at the other one when when they're not looking, hopefully. The shuriken has a decent a decent range. Who's making that noise? I never miss. There we go. Kenjutsu. Try to hide. There we go. So many tricks. Move like water. Yeah. Right. There we go. Now that worked. Just had to innovate a few times. Mm. Just keep trying new approaches. I'm having fun. If I'm if I'm failing at a game and having fun, that's usually a pretty good sign that I, that's probably a good game. That's the portal effect. I don't know what I'm doing and I can't solve this puzzle. Why do I like this so much? So that's all of the officers down. It's Fifty percent more than I needed to do, but whatever. In we go. Boys, keep your head down. Hi, Sensei. Forward, no! men, for the Shogun. I took the wagons with little resistance. Your skills are as sharp as ever. Got to admit, I had a little assistance. Ah yes, I saw your companion. What do you think of her? She's a bit wild maybe, but she has talent. Either that or I'm getting careless. How did she sneak up on me? What was that, Hayato-san? Nothing, nothing. See you at the safe house, right? What is your name, young woman? Yuki, Master Samurai. A fine name. I am Oshiro Mugen. No need to be afraid. Are you a friend of Hayato-san? I like to think so, though he might not see it that way. Master Samurai, can I stay with you two? Just for a while. I was wondering what to do with you. Hayato-san certainly seemed impressed. Still, to put a child in such danger... Please. I want him to be my sensei. He's got tricks that I can learn from no one else. Hmm. I will consider it. Hey, don't kill any civilians. I could kill civilians? <laughs> I just, I, I'm so used to just assuming I'm not allowed to do that. Hey, there's a medal for not killing all the off, or killing all the officers. Oh. Interesting. I thought. Th because there's so many badges on the right side of the screen, I thought the things on the bottom were going to be standard for every single mission. But apparently the things on the right change for every mission, and the things on the bottom change for every mission, which makes me wonder why they're even distinguished into two different categories of objectives in the first place. That's kind of weird, right? This seems odd that they're, they're counted differently. So this one wants you to not enter the water as one of the objectives. That's a little tough. So I got the uh, Don't Kill Any Civilians and Kill All Officers badges. You can provoke an ox to kill three people? 
I can see why the badges are secret until you finish the mission, because if they told you the badges on the outright, then it'd, it'd lead to the Hitman problem, where the game just tells you... Uh, was it uh, Hitman 2016, I th think, or 2015, or whatever the whatever year the new one started in? Uh, has an issue where it'll spoil creative kills before you do a mission if you read certain parts of the thing, which is kind of a bummer because that's the whole point of the game. They want you to beat it in five minutes. <laughs> not not the first time, that's for sure. There's a secondary tab here for the characters. It says how long you control each one and how many times you use each ability. Shows you which things you lean too heavily on, perhaps. Well, let's go.